Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, October brings changes to the post-9-11 GI Bill. We have a bit of road construction news and Miss America to visit Fort Meade. These stories and more, but first, commuters and visitors to Fort Meade were welcomed yesterday morning with an invitation. An invitation to participate in Fort Meade's first Facebook Town Hall. Hi and welcome to Fort Meade's first online Facebook Town Hall. I'm your garrison commander, Colonel Ed Rothstein, and I'm really excited about this time we're going to have together this afternoon. As I welcome you to this Facebook Town Hall, I want to thank you, our service members and civilian workforce, for your selfless sacrifice and service, along with our family members, for your continued support. Since becoming your garrison commander, I have made it a priority of mine to talk and listen across the post to you. I want to know and understand your concerns, suggestions, and ideas. For nearly two hours, Colonel Rothstein hosted a live question and answer session on Facebook. While the public affairs staff compiles all the numbers and metrics, I can say questions about housing, traffic, AFES, the commissary, rolled in nonstop for the duration of the meeting. At the conclusion, Colonel Rothstein noted that while not all questions and concerns could be addressed immediately, the garrison expects to have a response for everyone by Wednesday. In the town hall aftermath, Colonel Rothstein changed the hours for his open door policy this week. You can take advantage today for only 3 to 5 p.m. and on Tuesday from 4 to 6. Normally, open door hours are from 4 to 6 on Mondays. Next week, we'll take a closer look at yesterday's proceedings when I talk with Public Affairs Social Media Manager Jason Kelly. In the meantime, I do have some utility construction news to pass on. Starting next week, on or about October 17th, the electrical utility BGE will begin a project between Reese Road and Jacobs Road. This work will impact Normandy Bluff neighborhood residents who might only have one lane available to exit and enter at times. During construction, expect to see lane closures, lane shifts, and flagging operations along Reese Road. According to BGE, the project should take two to three months to complete. In other news, October 9th through the 15th is National Fire Prevention Week. This year's theme, Protect Your Family from Fire. The Fort Meade Fire and Emergency Services is hosting a fire prevention festival on Saturday the 15th. We spoke with Captain John Trotman about what we can expect. We're going to have a lot of different demonstrations. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a live extinguisher um, training. Uh, we have a new extinguisher simulator, which we're really excited about unveiling at the fire festival. Uh, we're going to have our smokehouse that um, which teaches kids what to do if you know they come into a room and smoke starts to fill the room, teach them to get out, go get their parents and get out. Um, we're going to have a vehicle extrication demonstration. Uh, we're going to have Anne Arundel County's arson dogs going to be here doing a demonstration. We're going to do a little bit of hazmat with suspicious package, um, some stove fires. It's going to be a lot of fun. Fort Meade firefighters will also be active leading up to the festival, visiting schools and the child development centers. We're also going to do something called the Friendly Firefighter. Uh, when we're wearing all of our turnout gear, we can be kind of intimidating and scary. So what we do is we start a firefighter out in regular street clothes, get him dressed. As we get him dressed, we, we talk to the kids about the different articles of clothing he's wearing. And then the kids get to see a fully dressed firefighter. And then we, re, we undo the process so that they can see that underneath all that gear um, is just a regular guy. Captain Trotman added that while firefighters are always ready to fight fires, Prevention really saves lives. If you can keep a child from being burned, um, from having to live through that the rest of their life, uh, if you can keep an adult from having to go through that, that painful, painful um, healing process, that's really what it's all about. Um, yes, fires will always happen. Yes, we'll always need to respond. But if we can keep one person from getting hurt, that's what it's all about. In DOD news, the post-9-11 GI Bill has added some new benefits effective October 1st. The biggest change is our housing stipends will now be available to online-only students. Previously, students were required to complete a portion of their coursework on a physical campus to receive any housing allowance. One other big change is up to $10,000 for flight training programs. Other non-degree educational programs may be eligible as well. For details and more information, go to the VA's website. That's www.va.gov. And finally today, Miss America 2011, Teresa Scanlon is visiting Fort Meade on Wednesday. That's October 12th from 11.30 to 1 p.m. at the Freedom Inn Dining Facility. Miss America will be available to meet and greet, take photos, and sign autographs. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week.